an apostle, a prophet, an evangelist, a pastor, and a teacher. The late apostle Dr. Sylvester Austin Fillmore Cole, in his life here on earth, he exhibited the fivefold ministry gifts and the spiritual gifts to accompany one of the greatest leaders that ever lived. Out of his spiritual loins was birthed hundreds of souls, some of whom are now great leaders, bishops, pastors, and evangelists, to name a few. The legacy of our apostle, Dr. S.A. Cole, is far-reaching and can be seen and felt in the Caribbean, North and South America, and of course his ministry has touched lives in Africa, India, and many other countries. John Maxwell in his writing declares that the leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Dr. Cole was such a leader. His example has given strength and resilience to those who have heard him and seen him. He is gone but not forgotten. His memory will always live on because he has left an indelible mark in all our spirit. In commemoration of his passing, I want to share these profound words that he spoke to the Church of Jesus Christ in the Bronx, New York Convocation 2006 as he was closing. Please join me and listen to the man of God, the late Apostle Dr. S.A. Cole. Closing of Convocation. I want to say to you all tonight, and you're very glad I will be here with you at this time. I never knew that I would be alive. This might be my last time I minister to you. You may never see me again until I meet you in the realm. I speak this to those of you who Commit yourself in the name of Jesus Christ, receive the Holy Ghost. And I don't see you on earth anymore. I'll be walking in the street of gold, nothing like a mansion. And I want you to stay safe. Do not baptize, you get baptized in the name. And if you commit are in adultery, fornication, come out of it. No adulterer and no fornicator went into the kingdom of God. May I warn you again, don't teach the saints about a double wives and a double husband. There's only one husband, one wife, one Lord. One baptism, one Jesus Christ. And there's no such thing. Jesus has never stamped his approval on the word divorce. He never did. And there's one person in the Bible that was ever divorced. Did you hear me? Not one man in the Bible divorced his wife. Not one man divorced her husband. Teachings is going around if you can have a second chance. But the possible teach one wife, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. You can tolerate your husband. Pray, pray unto the Lord, fix his business. You can tolerate your wife, pray unto the Lord, fix her business. <laughs> But I want you to stay safe and know but in this fabulous church they are telling you that you can divorce and remarry. I wish it very plain to take your chances up to you. Treat your husband good. You may then get by your fast and pray for him. When you wife get by your fast and pray, the Lord will change her. Did you hear that? You can forgive your wife and forgive your husband. You know you're going to heaven. Jesus is at the cross and he said, after he humiliated between two thieves, and the woman 